officially soup season and I love nothing more than a nice cozy soup, especially one that I can make in the crock pot. If you like chicken pot pie, but you wanna make it a little bit healthier and something that you can just throw in your crock pot and go, you're gonna to love today's recipe. You are not going to believe how easy this soup is to throw together and it is so delicious. So we're gonna start out just by prepping our carrots. The recipe calls for regular carrots. I had baby carrots, so I'm just gonna cut them in half. But if you were using regular carrots, you would just want to peel the carrots and then cut them in about quarter inch pieces. I went ahead and just cut these in half so that way they wouldn't get too soft in the crock pot. And then you're also going to need about one cup of diced onion. I will have this recipe linked in my description box so you'll have all of the measurements that you need. Um, but I'm just going to do like a fine dice on the onion. It also does call for celery, but I did choose to leave that out because neither my husband nor myself like celery. Uh, but if you wanted to use that, you can definitely do that as well. Now for the potatoes, you do want to peel them. The recipe says to use the Yukon gold potatoes. I couldn't find those, but I found these yellow potatoes that worked really well, but you just want to peel them and then we're going to dice them up into about one inch pieces with the exception of one of the potatoes, which we're going to leave in bigger pieces. And I'll show you here in just a moment. And what that's going to do is that is going to be used at the end to help make our soup creamy. So we're not adding any cream into this so it's a little bit healthier of an option um, going into like the holidays so if you are enjoying all the wonderful like fall treats or it's like Christmas time and you're enjoying all those treats and you want to lighten up dinner a little bit um, this is definitely an option for you to do so we need about two cups of these potatoes cut in about one inch pieces and then with this last potato you need about one cup of a larger diced potato so all i'm doing here is not dicing it is just quartering it so i had that one large potato i just cut it into quarters and then that was ready to go now in the crock pot i have my chicken breast and it was frozen um, and then my veggies i did saute for a couple of minutes on the stove and a little bit of olive oil you can skip that step if you don't want to do it uh, but the rest recipe did say that it added more flavor so I went ahead and did that and then I'm just seasoning mine with some garlic powder salt pepper and then I did Italian seasoning instead of the individual seasonings that the recipe called for because they were all in the Italian seasoning next you're going to layer on your potatoes and then you're going to add in some chicken broth now I use the better than bouillon so I went ahead and just mix that in with the water and it wasn't perfectly mixed in so that's why you're going to see at the end here where I'm kind of like scraping out like what was left because I knew that that would just like meld in with everything once it was cooking so once you have that in you're just going to place the lid on and then cook it on low for about six hours after that six hours you're going to remove your quartered potato pieces and put them into a blender or a food processor and then we're also going to pull the chicken breast out so we can shred that up now to the blender along with the potatoes i'm going to add a little bit of the broth that it was cooking in along with half a cup of milk you can use whatever milk of your choice just give that a good mix up and you're going to see that this gets nice and creamy and like i said we're going to add it in and it's just going to give that creaminess to our soup then you just want to shred your chicken into pieces of like this kind of like bite-sized pieces however you prefer it and then we're going to add everything back into the crock pot and we're going to be ready to serve dinner I was absolutely amazed at how creamy the soup got when I added in those blended potatoes. Like look how delicious that looks. You would think there was cream in it and there just isn't. So definitely give this a try if you haven't tried it before. Like I said, we absolutely love this. I was really surprised. My husband is not a soup fan. And to be honest, I'm not the biggest soup fan either, but I've like recently gotten into different soups, uh, but we both loved it. And I know that you will too. I cannot wait to hear what you think about today's recipe. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you give this one a try. Don't forget to subscribe before you go if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video.